So here we are guys, it is season two and this is how the squad is looking. We've had the new players come in. So we have Stuart coming in for free. What a signing he's going to prove to be. 73 rated, 26 years old. He's kind of in his prime. He's not going to be one for the future, but for now to get us into the Premier League, I think he's going to be very important. We've got uh, Akure coming in as well, 73 rated centre-back, very nice indeed, for free again. Then we have Coleman, not as high rated as I would have liked, but to be fair, 67 rated, it's not too bad for the championship. Maybe we'll look at signing a first team goalkeeper that's going to be good enough for the rest of the road to glory, for the Premier League and things like that, maybe at the end of this season. We've also got Morris coming in. Now, I've converted him to a striker. That's where I plan on using him, but he can be very good out on the wings. He's actually a monster. So, for example, if I compare him to Nemecha, who arguably was... Well, no, not even arguably. He is our best player at the moment. He was insane last season. He is considerably worse than Morris at everything. It is unbelievable. Just look at the stat comparison there. You actually... Oh, my. My cam's in the way a little bit, but you can see everything is green on the left side for Morris. He's, if the bar is green, it means he's better and it's pretty much everything. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if Morris gets into the team and maybe plays ahead of Nemetra. I mean, pretty mental considering how good Nemetra has been. Um, so I've decided we're going to be selling three players. We've got Burge, Robson and Maguire. All three of these players will be leaving. Um, regarding Gomez and Graven Birch, I've seen the comments. I've had so many tweets coming through as well. People basically saying, don't sell, don't sell them. But why would you want to do that? I was caught in two minds because I just don't, I don't want the series to feel completely or too easy, I guess is the word I'm looking for, the, the phrase I'm looking for. Because signing Gomez and Graven Birch for the money that we paid for them was ridiculous. But it's not my fault, is it, that the game is so broken like that? So a lot, pe a lot of people want me to just keep them. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Most people, if anything, were saying that Gravenbirch was the most unrealistic one because, you know, coming from Ajax to the League League One with Sunderland, it's a little bit unbelievable. At least Gomez was staying in England. But I, I don't know, man. It's so difficult to please everyone. I guess for now, we will just leave it as it is. Um, I don't need to make too many signings. I've got... A few players in mind that I'm looking at, but uh, in general, with the new signings that have already come in, I'm very happy with this squad. If you take a look at my uh, my budget, we've got £16 million and 56000 per week on the wages as well, which is obviously a lot of money. We do have a pre-season tournament coming up as well, which would, of course, let me move my mouse out of the way. I only just realised it was there. Um... This will give us, I think it was 2.8 million if we can win. And uh, the teams we're playing against really are not that great. We should be winning this preseason tournament to give us even more money. So let's have a look at transfer targets. What am I looking to do? So we've got cams in case we were going to sell Gomez, but uh, it looks like we probably won't be. But it still might be a shout to bring in a player. Maybe not Roberts because arguably... He's as good as Gomez. He should be in the team. But maybe someone like Nick Powell or Tom Lawrence that can come in and be good backup. Um, maybe. We'll see. Central midfield. I'm still thinking, you know, that we've lost power. Max Power has gone. It might be a shout to bring in another central midfielder. But then again, we, we have brought one in already. So I don't know. But one area we are definitely a little bit weaker in is on the right side of our attack. We've only got McKinley as a right-sided winger that's left-footed. Um, Gooch, I play him on the left because he's right-footed. You know I love those inverted wingers. So I've added Roberts, Diangana and Edwards to the list. And the other position that we're a little bit weak in is left-back. So I was potentially looking at Ben Osborne, Jamal Lewis and then Matt Target. He's definitely a target of mine. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate myself. Um, we're kind of weak at right back as well, because if I do want to use O'Neill or O9, however you say his name, in midfield, that leaves us with just Hover as our only right back. And I almost see him as a backup centre back as well. We sold McLaughlin, so maybe we should be looking at right backs as well. I don't know, but uh, Hume is a great player. 
but I have a feeling that we will at some point need another left back to come in. We've got Hall, the youth academy player, but I've got to be honest, I don't really like him too much. Um, he's 61 rated at the moment as well. I don't know. Um, I changed a couple of positions around, by the way. So, for example, Hall can play left mid instead of right back. I never use him at right back. It's just because I'm OCD about player positions and stuff like that. So, Morris, I made him a striker because that's where I want to play him. Gooch, I switched him over to a left mid instead of a right mid. Uh, I think I left everything else al uh, alone. So, yeah, let's uh, let's just have a look at it after the preseason tournament is finished, I guess. And just see what we want to do. Now, in terms of training, I thought I would start off this season with Mumba and the new goalkeeper, Coleman. I think that's probably the best thing we could do at this point. So let's go ahead and add Mumba in a third drill here. So two drills for Coleman, three for Mumba. I see him as a bit more of an important player now because, of course, with power leaving, there's another, another gap there in the, in the midfield for him to slot in. And every time I used him, he's pretty good. It's because he's so small. He's so nimble. So we definitely want to train him up this season. He is one that I still want to use. And of course, Coleman comes in as our main goalkeeper now. The quicker we can get him to around 70 rated, the better. Transfer offer coming in for Maguire, and it's over in the US. We're going to go ahead and accept the offer, though. He's worth half a mil. They've offered 510, so that's fine. We'll go ahead and accept that. I've also got a player chat, and I think it's from Gomez. Yeah, there you go. So now that you've changed your mind about selling me, boss, I'm hoping I'll get a chance to play and build a future here. I don't want to be a bench warmer. Yeah, don't worry, man. Uh, you're too valuable. There was no way I wanted to sell him, guys. It was because for the series, for the sake of the series, I want it to be entertaining and I don't want it to be crazy having these insane young players. But I, I hear you. I hear you guys in the comments. That's what it's all about. Uh, we're going to sim the, the preseason tournament, of course. We got a 1-0 win there. Have we got training available? Yes, we do. So we get three points to kick us off. Let's go ahead and train again. Not too bad. <laughs> okay, no, that was bad. Four Ds and one C. Very, very bad, actually. Still saw some green, though, some new stats going up. Let's simulate using the calendar again. It's just so much quicker. And then we got a nil-nil draw. Against who? FCSB. I don't even, I don't even know who they are. Not going to lie, I don't even know what... Uh, what league they play in, but they are now joint top with us into the next game. Oh, we got a transfer offer here for Burge. This is the goalkeeper that I'm looking to sell. 300k for him. Yep, that's absolutely fine. It's more the wages I want to free up than uh, getting some more money in the bank because we might not be signing too many players and, you know, the wages are only going to get more and more as we progress through this series. Maguire has gone. 375k. Thank you very much, sir, for your service. You were injured for most of the first season, but uh, good player. I'm sure he does well in real life, but for me, not something I wanted to keep. So uh, he's gone. Best of luck to him. But now to make it into the semi-finals of the European Shield, we get the 2-0 win. Graven Birch and Barker scoring the goals. That means we have a chance to win some more money now. We're going to get ourselves 720,000. Look at that. Big money. Training again. Training can be so overpowered, can't it? Look at that. Already 62 rated, and we're only three games into the season. We haven't even played a proper competitive game yet. That just goes to show how good training can be. So the semi-finals is against Lask Linz. Again, not too sure who they are. Berg's gone, and we get a loan offer for Robson. No. No, I don't want to loan him. You can't ask for a, a, a purchase, can you? So... We'll just have to reject that and hope that we do get an actual offer coming in. Let's uh, simulate the semi-finals. Come on, give me a win. Yes, 2-0 win. And we'll be playing against Zaragoza from Spain, I believe. So I actually know that team at least. Got two emails now. Tournament prize money, 900k. Oh, okay, Hall. That's all right. He's out for eight weeks. He's our left back. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get to the final here. Can we win the final? We've got a full fit side. And by the way, Kilman is now captain of my team. I've decided to give him the captain's armband. And hey, there we go. A 2-1 win. Stewart getting a red card already in his uh, Sunderland career. Just four games in. Or is this? No, it's five games he's played now, isn't it? But we still win the game. And we've won. How much money have we won? 1.35. Very nice indeed. And we've got a ton of scout reports as well. 
So let's go ahead and check them out before we do our training. So Roberts, Powell, Lawrence, Grimes is 76. Wow, Chalaba 71. 74 for Roberts. Oh my God, his wages are disgusting. 63,000. I should have thought about that. That's because he plays for Man City. Even Diangana, D Diangana is 45,000. Edwards, 6,600. He's so cheap. That's absolutely mental. And then looking at the left backs, my preferred choice would be Jamal Lewis. I think he's the player I would want most. And he's basically mid-range here in terms of his wage. We're looking at maybe around 10 million to sign him. But he would obviously, at 74 rated, get straight in the team. Even though I do like Hume, he's only 67 rated. So it would be stupid not to uh, potentially upgrade his position and get a player that has an official face, which is good. Uh, okay, let's rule some of these guys out. So... Roberts is out because we're keeping Gomez, but I'm still interested in potentially bringing in a backup Cam because at the moment, all we've got is Embleton and I think he's 64 rated. So it might be worth bringing in someone. Grimes is still a player that I'm interested in. I love the fact that he's got five star weak foot and he's an all rounder. Um, where does he get in the team though? Now that we've signed Stewart, we've, we're keeping Graven Birch. Ideally... You don't sign a player this high rated unless he's going into the team. So I don't I don't think we need a central midfielder. So I'm going to go ahead and remove them. Roberts is way too much money. His wages are ridiculous. I don't think he's going to be the right move for us. I think it might be the same for... Di it's a weird name, this. Diangana? Di Diangana? Maybe Diangana? Um... I'm sure he's a really good player, but Edwards, I think, is just the better choice at this point. So I think we lose Diane Garner and we take Edwards instead. He's got a release clause of 10.3 million. So the other issue I've got with this kind of signing, he's obviously better than McKinley, stats-wise. But McKinley is the Scottish Messi. We need to get him playing. Edwards is literally going to be a backup, but... He plays as a cam as well. I've seen him play at cam in real life, so I added that as a second position. He could play in that position if we needed him to as well. So he could be the perfect signing. Um, but I am going to go for a left back. I'm going to rule out target. I think that the wage is a bit much. So let's remove him. It's between Osborne and Lewis. Um, Stats-wise... I would argue that Osborne is probably better going forward. Yeah. But defensively, Jamal Lewis is better. He's also a bit younger. He's got better work rates for a left-sided centre... Uh, left, Left-sided centre-back? A left-back. I, I could potentially use him as a left-wing back in the three at the back formation I use. I, I think we go with Lewis. So we're going to go ahead and approach to sign him. And I'll try and offer Robson as part of the deal. And let's see if we can get something done here. Current value of 7 mil. We've got almost 20 million now because of the preseason tournament. Let's see. Will he take the young guy that we're not interested in keeping? Ethan Robson. No, they're not interested. They're looking for a goalkeeper, a striker, or a fullback. We do have a few a few fullbacks, um, but I, I want to keep them all. I don't want to want to sell any of these guys. I mean, I could potentially just offer Hall. Is he ever going to get into this team at this rate? Would they take him? Nope, they're not interested in him. Uh, okay, other position. We've got... Goalkeeper's already gone, isn't he? So we can't do that. Um, oh my god, Will Grigg, I forgot. Oh, this is difficult. Because Will Grigg is, is a legend. Do I want to lose Will Grigg? He's not obviously going to be here for the entirety of this series. He's not going to be worth more than this at any point. We've got Wilson as our main backup to uh, the main two strikers in the team. So I think it, it, it does make sense. And they're not even interested. That's fair enough. We'll go ahead and offer a transfer fee. And I'm going to be a little bit optimistic here. And just offer his value. There's no way it will get accepted. Let's see what happens here. Oof. Okay. I see. Uh, sell on clause. He, I'm not going to sell him. So that 
that doesn't bother me too much. So if I just bring it down to seven, what am I trying to do here? Seven, seven fifty. Go on. You can have the fifteen percent. Um. Excuse me. <laughs> he just put the price up more, didn't he? How dare you? Do eight then. Eight mil, fifteen percent. Okay. All right. We'll do that. That's, I think, more than fair for a player as good as him. All right, let's negotiate. We should be able to get his wages down a little bit. So far, every player that has signed for us that had a bigger contract than I'd like, they've always offered to come down. So I think he will. And trust me, this will be a big signing for us. A left back and a right back is so important. And uh, he, he could be used in multiple positions, in different formations. He's definitely a crucial first team player. Yeah, that's what he was looking for. Again, we've got that stupid glitch where the the agent has a completely random badge. We're going to go with five years and see if he'll accept it. Yep, he will. We don't need a release clause. Oh, God. I knew this was going to happen. This is, this is complicated. I am going to have to start paying more for players. I know that. But right now, most of my players are on less than 10,000. So... I think I, I have to go at least at least 12, I would say, is probably going to be where I need to be. But I genuinely have no idea. Uh, I guess we just offer a nice sign-on sign, a sign -on bonus. Maybe 200k up front. Would I be comfortable paying that? Yes. Yes, I would. Oh, I'm really nervous about this. Oh, okay. I was not far off. Uh, we'll take out the appearances and just submit. 200k plus 12,500. And then he wants 14. I thought that would happen. I actually thought it'd be 15. Uh, let's try meet me halfway. 13. It's not quite halfway, but go on. 13. 13 and a half. Done deal. We've signed a proper, proper left back. He is going to be so good for us. I'm really happy with that. Really, really happy with that. He goes straight into the team, and Hume is therefore a very, very good backup left back. He's only 21, remember? So I guess... Um, wow, he actually goes on the reserves, because I'd rather have O'Neill on the bench. Wow, that kind of sucks. Although Grig can come out, can't he? So we could actually do that. Yeah, I think that, that's good. And then Lewis goes into the team. 74 rated. Instantly becomes our best player in the team. Just like that. The highest rated player in the team. He's got such good stats. And uh, like I said, he's going to be a big, big player for us. He's going to get the number three as well. I've changed up a few squad numbers. So let's go. Oh, he's already got it. Number three. Brilliant signing. Uh, Corey's got number six. I gave uh, Stuart number eight. Clark has got, has got number 16 now. Uh, what else did I do? Um, Robson's leaving, so I gave him... No, I, when I sell players, I always give him like 99, 98, 97. Gomez is now number 10. Embleton is still 17. Um, McKinley's got the number 7 now that we sold... Ah, what was his name? How have I forgotten his name? The guy we literally just sold. Maguire, that's it. Nemecha is number 9, and Morris is number 20. So that's uh, that's the numbers that we've given them. So what do I do now? I still think I need a centre attacking midfielder and I do kind of need a right midfielder as well as a backup to uh, McKinley. But as I've already said, this is actually an upgrade on McKinley, stats wise. And he's got his real face as well. You know I'm a sucker for that. Um, I'm tempted to bring in Edwards as both. He can play as a cam. He can play as the right mid, of course. And um, we could get him relatively cheap. I know his value the actual the money we'll pay to get him is quite high but his wage is going to be so low i think would he not maybe he'd want more actually i don't know if that's going to be the same as what it was like in league one because i'm in the championship now is he gonna say you know i want 15k oh i don't know um okay well 10.3 is his release clause let's see if we can secure him for like you know eight if i throw in a bid of eight million how is that going to go down let's uh, let's give it a go we can also add, because I think I have decided that Will Grigg is expendable. Does he fancy going over to Portugal? 
I don't think they're going to be interested. No, they're not. They're looking for a striker, though. Okay, well, that seems seems right, doesn't it? Uh, let's try... Can't do that. I was going to offer Robson, maybe. Okay, transfer fee. I said I'd offer eight. I think that's a decent start. This would be the last signing we can make, I think. Um, let's see what happens here. Eight mil. More than their... <sighs> More than their release clause that they've given him. It makes no sense. Why would I pay that? <laughs> Why would I? I wouldn't pay that. Uh, okay, let's try nine and a half with the 15%. Because, again, I'm not looking to sell any of these players I'm signing at the moment. And now they want the release clause plus the 15%. Is that 15% worth the 800k less if I offer 10 No, it's not. So we're just going to end the negotiations... And we'll just buy him outright. I can't do it right now, but I will. I will buy him outright for 10... It's 10.3 million. I thought it was 10.8 for a second. Yeah, that 15% is not worth, you know, 300k if I offered 10 and they accepted it. So, um, yeah, we'll just come back in for him. I think Powell and uh, Lawrence are really good potential signings. Um, but more so if I was actually going to sell Gomez, which I'm not going to do. Into training again. Coleman is now 68 rated. So... My other goalkeeper, McLaughlin, got to 69, or has been 69 for the entire series, hasn't he? So Coleman is now just one rating away, and of course he's uh, he's so much younger. Can we make an offer now? Don't think I can. Okay, so we've got to wait a few more days here. I'm just trying to think any last-minute changes I want to make before I, I do anything silly, you know? Okay, we can do it now. I don't want to finish the window and... Um, Realize that oh I should I should have done this I should have done that but we're we're going to go into negotiations here with Edwards I think realistically I've I've got to put him in the team maybe McKinley could be the backup Cam slash right mid I don't know his current wage is six point six that's brilliant for us so he wants crucial I mean that's to be expected really let's see if we can sign him up on five years and I I'm pretty sure he's got the Norwich manager as his agent <laughs> okay then makes sense. Doesn't want a release clause. That's fine. Please, please, please make me an offer. Ooh, okay. So it isn't going to work out the same way that it did in League One. These players know that they can get more now. Um, okay, that does change things a little bit, but not too much. We can easily afford it, of course. So let's remove the appearances. And I will give him... We went to 13 and a half before, and it was 200. So let's see if we can get a similar deal here. Yes, there we go. Welcome to the club, Edwards. He is going to be extremely good for us. Oh my God, I, I didn't even realise. McKinley's shooting is actually very decent for a winger. Miles better than Edwards. So I actually think McKinley should be prioritised in this team. He, he should really be in the team. So he is actually going to go on the bench. I mean... It's, it's not a bad thing, by the way. It's just it's important that we've got good players in multiple positions and then backup players as well. So I'm still glad we've made the signing. I mean, 10 mil for a 21-year-old that's 74 rated is very good. The question is, is who do I drop from the bench? Um, well, I, I, I guess it is Hume. It has to be Hume because then we've got two central midfielders. We've got two wingers and then the striker. So, uh, yeah, it kind of makes sense. And we've still got Robson and Grigg to sell. Is there anyone else I'm looking to sell? I, maybe Hall. I, I just don't know, man. He's he's not the right stats for me, personally. He's not he's not that great going forward. And actually, I, I like my wingbacks to go forward quite a lot. So I might actually end up just selling him at the end of this season when he's worth a little bit more. I don't know, man. But either way, I'm really happy with the signings we've made so far. I completely forgot to check out the new objectives, but we've already completed one, which is the brand exposure goal. So that's good. We've already done that. My manager rating has come down to 90 since the start of the season. But let's go ahead and take a look at the board expectations. So they want me to grow one youth academy player by at least five. As soon as they've grown, play them in five games. Okay, brand exposure. Yep, sign one crucial first team player to midfield or forward. That's good. And then we've got to make 9 mil from uh, shirt sales. We're already almost a third there. Financial, no objectives. Domestically, they want me to finish mid-table. Interesting. And they want me to reach the round of 32 of the FA Cup. So I think that's definitely achievable. But mid-table in the championship, obviously, I have no idea. I think statistically, on paper, 
we should be maybe in the top eight, something like that. We've got quite a few low to mid 70s in our team now. So yeah, I, I personally feel like a top eight finish would be very good. So mid table, happy with that. And then continental success is a low priority with no objectives. It should be then very low, surely. that's That doesn't make any sense. Um, worth noting, though, the youth development is actually a low priority as well. So maybe this season is going to be less about the youth academy. Maybe I'm just going to focus on the players I've got and improve them. Well, it's the first game of the season. How many debuts are we having today? So we've got Lewis, who's already gone up to 75 rated at left back. We've got Stewart making his debut. By debut, I mean for me. I know some of these players have played in the preseason tournament, but the first game here against Derby in the uh, in the league, first competitive game, we've got... Um, is that is that everyone else? Oh, Okore, of course, and Coleman. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe bringing in some players on the bench at some point. So Morris will come on in the second half. He's... 75 rated now that's because i changed his position now that's interesting so as a winger he was 73 rated but as a striker he is actually 75 rated that's that's actually very interesting that just goes to show that overall rating doesn't mean everything it's actually the stats that make up that position rating very interesting but it's good to see that jamal lewis has already gone up he is going to be a key player for us yeah, I think this is the team we go with. Um, is there anyone on the bench I might want to use? I don't think so. I'm, I'm actually tempted to throw Morris in straight away just to see what he's like. Yeah, why not? We know how good Nemetra is. Let's give Morris a go. We'll play him at striker. We just gained two overall by changing his position. He's this, He's still the same player. You know, it's not like he's improved in his stats. He might have gone up by one in something, but that's just a position change that's done that. Very interesting. But here we go, guys. The start of the championship season. It's a home game against Derby. And I cannot wait to get this underway. I just realised every player in this team has an official face. That might be the first time in this whole series that that's actually happened. Let's get it back post. Go on. So close. I mean, does McKinley count? Because he shouldn't... He doesn't have a real face. He's, he's a made-up player. So I guess he does count. Everyone else in this team has an official face. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it in FIFA 20. Oh, God, that was very close. But something said to me when I started this series, I've got to sign players that have real faces. And so far, I've managed to do that. Oh, what a touch. No way. Oh, my God. McKinley. That's him saying, oi. I know you signed Edwards, but there's no way he's playing ahead of me. That would have been such a good goal. Let's test out Morris's pace. He's a very quick player, and he's very physical as well. Does feel a little bit clunky on the ball, but he's gone through everyone here. And he's finished it. Oh, my God. Have we signed a gem here? Honestly, I don't care about the two-star skills, the three-star weak foot. If he can run through players like that, he is more than welcome in this team. What a debut goal for him. He's just ran through them all. You can't really do many skills with him, but the fake shot there was perfectly timed. Great finish as well. Nemetra will be on the bench thinking, oh dear. But no, believe me when I say this, Nemetra is still my number one. Okay, I love the kid. He's amazing. We have a corner. Graven Birch is going to cross this one in. Okore's there. Oh, wow. Off the line. That would have been two debut goals. Akore's not really had anything to do as Rooney passes it back. I can't believe Rooney's playing for Derby. It is crazy, isn't it, what happens in football sometimes? Oh, God, that's a good pass. Akore is coming across. I would not want to run against him. He's a monster of a player. Haven't been able to get the tackle in. Let's see if we can do something now. No, they're passing it around very nicely. But then the cross comes in and it's really disappointing. And that's pretty much going to be it for the first half. We'll, we'll go in at the break 1-0 up. Oh, we've just given it straight to them, though. There's Lawrence, one of the players we were looking at. They're actually going to get one more chance here, potentially. Yeah, I've missed the tackle. McKinley's getting back. Come on, get a tackle in. Yes. Oh, wow, really? They're actually going to get a corner as well. The longest injury time ever. Well, not really. We've seen it go longer than this, but they will get one last chance here. And it wasn't bad. They're going to keep it in. No, they're not. I dodged a bullet with Lawrence. Clearly, he's utter rubbish. What was that touch? Anyway, there's half time. We're winning 1-0. 
And I would like a win to kick things off this season. My next fixture is against Ipswich. Now that's interesting. They've just come up with me. We beat them to uh, second place. So clearly they won the playoffs and probably deserved it. They had a very good season, didn't they? So we'll be playing against them next. Here's Hover. Ball comes, goes back post for Barker. It was well defended in the end. Need to defend this. Don't let him get a cross in. Oh my God. Don't let him get a cross in. Yes, McKinley's done well, but we can't keep the ball. How many times is that going to happen in this game? Bielic now? No way. Oh my God, he's hit it straight at Coleman. Clear it. Doesn't matter. They've missed it. How is Bielic missing that? That's embarrassing. Ex-Arsenal player. No surprise then, eh? <laughs> Nemecha has come on now. So has Edwards at Cam, by the way. I thought I'd give him a go there. And uh, Clark as well has just come on for Stewart, who was lacking a little bit of fitness. That's not a good ball, but it's worked anyway. Here's McKinley now. Try and play it through. And Edwards is in. Finish it. Oh, come on. Oh, we almost got the ball back. There's about six minutes left here. And I've got to say, Derby have been the better side in this second half, but they still really haven't had many good chances. Oh, here we go. Edwards in again, but we're going to be unselfish over to McKinley. And for a second there, I thought I was going to miss. <laughs> that would have been surely impossible. We found the back of the net again, 2-0. Edwards has impressed since coming on. Maybe he could be a, a really good player at Cam for us. Nice easy pass across. And that has given us the three points in our opening fixture. I'll take that. Oh, they're in. It's Lawrence. Oh, no. The clean sheet. It's gone just out of nowhere. I thought I had it. Oh, I stepped in with Kilman there. And it's Lawrence. I should have signed him just so he couldn't have scored that. <laughs> Luckily, we found that second goal because, yeah, that would have been that would have been one all. And that really would not have been a good start. But it looks like they're going to run out of time here. The referee's blown his whistle. We get a win in our first game. Shame about the goal conceded, but ultimately, it doesn't matter. We've won the game. That's all we need to do. We've had a couple of offers come in for Grig, but it doesn't look like he's going to be going anywhere just yet. Um, let me show you the offers we had. We had... So we had an offer for Dobson as well, which we've rejected. Same with Gomez. They wanted to loan him. But Will Grigg has had two offers come in, one from LAFC in the MLS. MLS and then we've also got uh, Al Halau, I think it was can't pronounce the name so uh two teams wanting him and he's got a choice it'll be uh fine either way you know it's still a good amount of money his value is 675 but both of them have offered 750 or more so I'm happy with that it's a shame they wouldn't activate his release clause we'd get over a million for him uh the money that we get for him I don't think will be used because it's only going to get us up to what maybe two and a half mil so at this point you know if we adjust our wages we could probably sign one more player but I, I just don't think we need to the squad we've already got for this season I think is more than good enough to compete with the, the best in this league so we'll just see how we get on really but uh, that's going to be the end of the first episode of season two I hope you're enjoying it if you are please do leave a like rating make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you for another episode very soon